Hey there viewers, welcome back, if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm working on a 2011 GMC Acadia. The problem with this one, the windows. Windows not going down until you really push on that and you fight with that. This window working? That window works. This window. You can hear me really fighting with the switch. There's a very common issue with these window switches when they switch to this style. Uh, you don't have to replace the switches to fix this problem. What you do is you're going to take the switch out of the vehicle, in which I've already started to remove the door panel here. You're going to remove the switch, the master switch, and you're going to take it apart and clean it. Once you get the door panel off, which is going to be a pain, these tabs right here are just way, way too much overkill. You can actually unplug your door with these two connectors, and they are color-coded, so you can't mix them up. Now, if you do have power mirrors, you will have a third connector. So you can see right there is one. Right there's the other one for the door, and that third one goes all the way up to the mirror. Now this particular one has power mirrors and the blinkers in the mirror, and I believe they're heated as well. That's beside the point. This is only held on by three T30 screws, two here in the handle, and one up by the door handle to release it. This is your grab handle here. And it's just held on by all the clips, which are, like I said guys, Outrageously tight. So back over here, your door lock switch here, things like that. Now, you're going to just basically unplug your switch, and that should just pop out by these tabs right here. There's two on this side, and there's two going to be on the back side. So you see that? Like that. Let's see if I can do this one-handed on camera. Boom. Okay. I got it apart, which is, like I said, just a series of those clips. This little white tab would be sitting right here. This is for the driver's side, auto down. This little rubber diaphragm. You just simply take it off. And these are the contacts you're going to clean with the alcohol. As you can see right here, see how dirty those are getting? And that's causing the windows not to work very well. It's kind of like your remote. These little metal pieces come down and make contact with those and... You don't want to clean those as well. Prime example, I don't know if this is focusing very well. <clears throat> but you can see just the grime and dirt and stuff like that over the age of these switches. So I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol here. Which is a 50% I see purple alcohol. Nail polish remover would work just as good. I got it a little in the cap of the bottle here. And I'm just going to rub over. I'm going to rub over this a little bit here. Clean the contacts real good. These are the Q-tips we used, or I used to clean this off the best I can. Still not 100% perfect, but it should work better. Yours are starting to act up. Try cleaning it before you replace it, because these things are not cheap. You go to your pulley, all these are always gone. Line it back up, drop it back on. Sometimes those plastic bumpers in there will come out, sometimes they won't. You just find a happy medium. Get it lined up. Kind of like so. Now see this isn't going all together. And I'm not going to force it because I can take it back apart because something ain't sitting right. Alright, now I have the window switch reinstalled into the door panel here. Plugged in. So now I'm going to take it over to the vehicle. Plug it in. Right here and I'm going to test it. I always want to test it before you put it all together, because the last thing you want to do is get it all together and then it doesn't work and get to take it all back apart. So let's try that out and see what happens. Just set it like that. We have the keys here. I think it was up and down. nice and smooth. 
Try the back window. Very little effort goes into the working the switches now. There you go, guys. If your window switches aren't working right on your 2007 plus GM vehicles and they got this style of switch, don't replace it. Clean it. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you like what you see, consider hitting that subscribe button to see more videos similar to this. And until next time, have a good one.